you should learn Greek. I mean, I'm not kidding. You should totally learn how to do this, and I promise you, you can. It's not as hard. People have horror stories of how hard Greek is. I tell you, you can totally do this. So why? Well, why should you learn how to read the Greek New Testament? Well, uh, there's a Greek scholar by the name of Bruce Metzger. Anybody who's ever taken Greek and like at a seminary knows that name. Uh, Bruce Metzger, very, very famous Greek scholar, once put it this way. He said, uh, reading the New Testament in English is like kissing your wife through a veil. Uh, th thought that's kind of cute as one who reads Greek. I can appreciate that. The illustration I have come to appreciate that I, uh, I like to use, it's kind of like uh, reading the Bible in English is kind of like watching a screen on a nine inch black and white TV. Uh, you get a true picture of what is actually there, but it's just not the same as watching it in 52-inch um, high definition, 72-inch high high definition, you know, 4K, ultra, blah, blah, blah. Uh, now, I will say this. Uh, the reason that second reason I like that illustration is because even if you learn to read the Greek text, uh, you will have people, especially the public, say, now, the Greek really means so-and-so. Listen, if somebody tells you that the Greek means something fundamentally different, then your English translation, 95, 99% of the time, it's a bunch of hogwash. Because, look, your English translations are good translations. The people who translate them know Greek better than anybody you know. And they almost certainly, the people who translated them, know Greek better than the person who's telling you what the Greek really says. What the value of the illustration I just gave you, though, the black and white versus the high def, is that the picture is the same. It really is. The difference is in the depth of clarity, which you can see, and very often you can see why one translation will, pick one, will go one way, another translation, another. And there are just some things that come across in the Greek text that you can't bring across in English just because emphasis and things like that, you just don't have the ability. You'll see examples of that in the class. So what I want to do is tell you a bit about how we're going in this video series to learn. Greek and let me tell you how we're not going to. So this is a textbook when I learned Greek that I used this one, Basics of Biblical Greek by uh, William Mounts, Bill Mounts. Now I strongly recommend this text. It's an excellent book uh, if you want to learn Greek in a formal way, the way that I learned it in, um, in Seminary Bible College. It's an excellent, excellent resource. Uh, this kind of textbook is going to be very formal in that you're going to learn First of all, the, you're going to learn, after things like alphabet, you're going to learn all of you know the rules for how nouns work, what's called the clensions. You're going to get heavy into grammar day one. You're going to learn after the noun system and the declension system, and then all the, uh, you're going to learn verbs and participles. The point is that here, the approach is to learn the grammar. And then once you learn the grammar, there's a lot of like charts and things like that you have to, you have to memorize. And once you learn all those charts, like, Here's an example of a chart. You may be able to see this on there or not. So you memorize all these charts and that you learn all these rules. Having learned that, then you go to the actual text. You can say, oh, well, this spelling translates this way, matches this rule. The problem is that's not the way you learn any language, your native language, English, probably. That's not the way that you learn to speak. And that's really not the best way to learn a language if you're trying to learn to communicate. It's a great way to learn Greek for technical studies it takes a long time and it's hard. The way I want to do is I want in the very first video to open your Greek New Testament and start reading it. You say, well, Chris, how? That all, pardon the pun, it's all Greek to me. What we're going to do is we're going to learn the first letters that you need for the first verse in the first video. At the end of the very first video, you are going to read John chapter 1, verse 1. In the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, the Word was God. You're going to read that in Greek. Know what you're reading, how you're reading it. And in fact, the way the text is going to go, we're actually going to walk you through the Gospel of John. We're going to go verse by verse through the Gospel of John, looking at the Greek text. And you're going to learn Greek by actually reading the Greek New Testament. So it's a fun way. Uh, it works excellent in conjunction with something like this. So maybe you have never looked at Greek before and you think it's a fun way to learn, uh, it's, it's really, really a great way to do it. Maybe you're interested in the God study, the Gospel of John, you like a deeper study, it's a great way to do it. Maybe you've taken Greek before and want a refresher and you don't want to go through something as dense as this. So we're going to take our time. 
the other thing worth noting is I have provided what's called a reader's Greek New Testament. The problem with an actual text like this uh, is if you don't, you read the text, the problem is if you don't have all those words memorized, you, know what they, you don't know what they mean. So what I've done is I, I have, uh, I'm in the process of releasing, and there'll be a link to the description below, the text of the Gospel of John where the words that you need are actually defined at the bottom of the page. So if you've got the word memorized and know what it means, great, you have it memorized. And if you don't, then the, there's a little gloss. That's called a, a, dictionary, a, a dictionary definition, a simple one at the bottom of the page. What's that word? Oh, it's right there. So it makes it easy for you to read. I'm doing everything I can to help this be fun, to be interesting, uh, not be too time consuming. I plan doing one of these a week or so. So go ahead and, you know, monitor the playlist. Do the whole subscribe things. So you know, when the next one comes out, let's, let's learn Greek. You know, we're Christians. We believe in that the word of God is, that the Bible is the word of God. And so let's read it. Listen, English is great translation. The King James, even the NIV, they're all good translations. But let's read it in the language that God inspired it to be written in. So I'm looking forward to, in our very first video together, go ahead, jumping right in. Let's go ahead and actually start reading the Greek New Testament. Even if you've never read it before, let's go ahead and get started actually learning the text by reading the Greek New Testament. I will see you in the first video. God bless you.